We call this a migration radio, is it or yeah, not? We, we, we call it a 4.5 generation. 4.5 generation migration. Yeah. Maybe that's, <laughs> that's a good name. A good name because All right. I think uh, we are still thinking about how to yes. uh, how to name it. Yeah. If anybody have a good idea, welcome to tell me. Okay, that's one. That's good. If anybody has good ideas for this new radio from Hyterra, then. It's crowded here. It's crowded. It's very crowded. I need to find my way around here. <laughs> good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. Nice to okay. Meet you. Good to see you. Huh? Good, good to see you. you. Good Hi. Good you. morning. Good, good to morning. See you. Well, not everybody is yet finished, right? No, no. We have been finished yesterday quite early already. But is there some space for people on the booth? Because it's it's crowded here, is it? Yeah. Already. Yeah. <laughs> The latest and greatest of Hytera, is it? Right. That's uh, our next generation street uh, terminals for, for the critical uh, communication market. Now it's still an engineering sample, but our plan is we have the testing sample ready in Q2. Q2 this year, yeah. testing sample ready yeah. for release in Q4? Also Q2. Wow. Yeah. That's super fast. Hytera to release a dual mode radio Q2 this year. Yeah. And that's the radio, is it? Yes, that's it. You can yeah, take it. it. You don't want to be like on a, almost like on a monthly basis, do you? There's no need to. Can you explain a little bit more about what's inside the radio? So, very simple. If you walk, uh, look into here, it's uh, like a regular um, smart, smartphone, Android, Android based. But if you go back, you will see here, it's a radio. It's a radio. Yeah, it's a radio. And also we have the dual display. From the large display, you can use like a smartphone, you can input uh, many apps to go through the LTE network. So this is the ideal combination between a radio, which people use for many, many years, mm -hmm. and a smartphone for yeah. easy access to apps and to, to other kinds of features for public safety, for example. Yeah, yeah correct. Uh, the standard for the PMR uh, market is, is handy. Exactly. Nobody has very clear information what the, what's going on. But more and more customers want to have a LTE benefits from the radio. So Atara will have the, a unique or smart solution. We com combine the LTE and the radio together. So people can use the LTE to, uh, for the daily job, for the data transmit, and also they can still use the, the radio. For for voice. The, and that's Tetra, right? Or yeah. is it DMR? Uh, both. We have both, the both versions. Tetra, DMR, LTE. Uh, no. for, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, that would be great, <laughs> because they have everything in one go. No, right? no. For, for the terminals, we have two versions. Tetra version and the DMR version. And, and both together with LTE. Right. And also it's very easy for the people to use if they only see this display, it's uh, only for the radio, they can change the group, change the volume. How are people already experiencing this radio? Did you already get some reactions of the end users? Of course, I got a lot of demands from the customer from the market. They want to get the test sample, the first batch of the radio to do the test. They want to use it. Also for some application partners, they would like to draw in the application partner family to develop the apps for the radio. We call this a migration radio, is it or yeah, not? We, we, we call it a 
five generation. Four point five generation migration. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good name. A good name because All right. I find uh, we are still thinking about how to yes. uh, how to name it. Yeah. If anybody have a good idea, welcome to tell me. Okay, that's one. That's good. If anybody has good ideas for this new radio from Hyterra, then they're open-minded to take on any nice name for this radio. Okay, good. Tony, thank you very much. My much pleasure. appreciated. Thank you for your time. Thank All you. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. So, whatever name you call that radio, I think it's a migration radio ready to migrate from Tetra DMR towards the world of LTE. Um, the name of the radio? I don't know. Time will tell. That's Lorna Hansen. I've never seen Lorna Hansen here on the on the trade floor, um, but Lorna is doing the marketing yes. at Dam. Yes, exactly. I like the color. Oh, that's good. I like Thank the green color. Like I, I, I do too. Know. I think it, it lights everything up, and it's, um, yeah. that's kind of nice. Right, right, right. <laughs> Flashboard I A A G. That's that's it. That's often happening in our industry, right? It's, 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 it's a small industry. Everybody knows each other. It's a crazy industry. It's a crazy industry. Yeah. Okay, now um, it's not so crazy because it's, it's a very serious business that we're talking here about, yes. about critical networks. Absolutely. And, and when I was walking around the area here, I still find a lot of companies, original equipment manufacturers, that dive into this service part and, 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 and strengthen their portfolio with all kinds of software solutions. And I don't see that much back of that at the dump company. Uh, the way we organize ourselves, uh, both on the, uh, on, on the market side, on the, uh, on, on the business development side, uh, on the service side, uh, but also on the supply side, is that we, um, we are a company that uh, rely uh, on, uh, on close partnerships. Uh, and again, that goes both on the on, on, on the uh, services side, um, projecting side, uh, and so forth. Uh, but also, uh, as you will recently have learned, uh, we develop partnerships uh, with with manufacturers, also both for application partners, uh, but also for um, uh, on the terminal side. Uh, we stick to what we know we're good at. And we focus on that and make sure we always uh, develop ourselves and make ourselves stronger. Okay, well, <laughs> Vasilius Tutuzoglu, which is pronounced perfectly, um, is from Alecon. Yes. Okay, I haven't seen your company exhibiting at this exhibition before, so you must have something really new, interesting for us to showcase. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, uh, actually, uh, we have um, uh, one mission critical platform that uh, what we can, what we're doing right now is uh, in the uh, we have developed a platform that is very flexible. Uh, our customer today is working with one month incoming calls. Uh, they provide uh, incident handling. When you receive the call, you can dispatch out ambulances, uh, police, fire. It's computer aided dispatch? Yes, yes. Okay. So it is dispatch center, totally. And the um, uh, main goal actually with the platform is that uh, Today, many of our customers are asking that they want to integrate it in something that is flexible, customized for their own needs. And they have said that they want to have integration with MMS, with video, with the smartphones, and all that stuff that today people have. Uh, the problem today is that you call into the dispatcher and you cannot, uh, the dispatcher cannot know exactly what's happening. If we're looking on the market today, you have a platform that is more uh, old fashioned. Yes. Uh, and uh, we have built the platform after the new, uh, the new requirements. And uh, uh, I mean, we have integrated the operators, we have integrated the, the map providers, we have integrated the video survivor system. So, so the strength of your platform is that you integrate almost everything into your system? Yes. Okay, and where do you sell it? Around the world? Or? Uh, uh, the, probably we have now in Sweden. In Sweden? In Sweden we are very strong. Okay. But now we're starting in uh, worldwide to find uh, new customers and new partners. So we will see you guys at Critical Communications World in Hong Kong as well? We hope that. What I did see at, actually at Alecom is this device. Yes. That is a familiar device to me. I, I, I know a manufacturer that manufactures these in Germany. Yes, exactly. So what, what does this, this device do in, I, with Alecom? Yes, actually Alecom is a, a system integrator 
we have electricity. Actually, with, with this device in Sweden, we connect many IOs. We have handling for uh, electricity people, electricity companies that provide uh, um, the handling if uh, the network is stopped or something like this. We are sending through the Tetra to our system, to the, because we have a SCADA integrated in our system. That makes sense. Yeah. And then you take pick your gross products exactly. to integrate that into the system. Exactly. So it's going to be branded with Ele Eleco yes, or yes? Yes, yes, yes. So Michael over there, he knows exactly what we're doing. <laughs> okay, let, let's go to Michael Pikiogros yeah. and ask him a little bit more about what he's doing on these kinds of devices because they're on the market for some quite some time now. Um, maybe he's got some new developments as well. Yeah, okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, let's speak to Michael Pikiogros. Let's see if he's here because, yeah, he is here. Michael is here. Now, Michael, we just went to Alecom. And when I when I was at Aleco, I, I think you're, you're properly dressed now, is it? I hope so. You, you like it? <laughs> I saw one of your products on there on the shelf. So how is your business doing? Because that's what I'm wondering. I see your products around everywhere, actually. And um, so you must be doing very well. Don't tell anybody. Yes, it's going very well. <laughs> I'm happy with Tetra, with our product portfolio. We have the new modem, and so we can sell... You have a new modem? No, the, 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 the modem itself. Okay. So just the module. And we start selling the module uh, to some Eastern European countries, to uh, Asia, some, and then they are developing now an, an own application, an own hardware of, based on this module. So you always have to bring something new. Okay. And that's, we did it, yes. and this is maybe the success. And it we makes have. sense, right? Well, where is your modem? Is it here? This one. Oh, it's here. So, so, so this modem. So this modem. No, no, no. Take it the oh, other way. Take it the other way. Yes, please. Like that. <laughs> yeah. This modem fits into different kinds of devices to make sure like SCADA uh, type of devices uh, things are being measured and being data being sent to a control room or whatever. But also audio, so it's a full Tetra audio radio, audio. it's not a modem or a module, it's a Tetra core, TMC, Tetra modem core is a Tetra core, radio core, and can be used for audio application as well as for data applications. Perfect.